the Texan AN200 loop antenna, also known as the Grandic AN200 or sometimes the Kaito AN200, and there is a version called the AN100 which looks similar, it's just here at the bottom, it's got a slightly different look, works the same way, is an amazing piece of equipment. It really helps you to pull in weak signals. And it really helps, especially on a radio that's a little bit weak, maybe on medium wave, like this Retic SV115 we have here. It really helps to pull in those AM signals. It'll work on most radios that have an internal ferrite coil antenna. So you can try it on pretty much all radios, whether analog, full analog, DSP based analog, digital display based DSP radios like this one. Pretty much anything will work. Radios that already perform quite well on AM that have very good internal ferrite coil antennas might not work that well. They will work, it might make a slight difference, but the difference that you will see is not that noticeable. So in this video I want to demonstrate how you should use this loop in the most effective way. Because there's a little bit of a trick to it actually. And once you know that, it just works wonderfully. You'll be amazed at what you will pull in on medium wave. Best is if you have a lazy Susan, which I don't have, so I'm just using a book here for my demonstration. And you will see why now as I proceed. So I'm going to show you on the Retic SV115, I've got a signal there. It is 1206. That is a signal that comes from Mozambique. It's Emissor Provincial de Inyamban. 50 kilowatt transmitter, it's about 800 kilometers, just under 500 miles from me. So not a very distant signal, we're going to move into a more distant signal afterwards. Now you'll see on the retic is, the radio alone picks up almost nothing. First, you need to sort of make sure that you are pairing it correctly. To do that, just place it, you can place it next to your radio like this, you can place it at the back, it doesn't really matter. This is just the initial first step. And then you tune here until you get the best signal like we have now. But that's not the end of it. Now you must find the best position for your antenna. So move the antenna around the radio until you get the best signal with the least noise. Okay, that seems to be the position with the least noise and the best signal. Then you can tune it a little bit more to see if you can improve the signal. And there you see, we have a much improved signal. If I remove the antenna, I'll show you again. Now this position of your antenna, the way that it's paired with this radio, you know now this is your best position. So you don't want to change that. You do want to change the direction because this is a directional antenna. So that is why we use the book or the Lazy Susan. Because on different signals, you will move this book around each time to get the best possible reception. So I will try another Mozambican signal. It's Emisor Provincial de Lichinga. That's 1260 kilohertz. This signal comes from a city called Lichinga, 50 kilowatt transmitter, 1600 kilometers, 996 miles. As you can hear, there's nothing now. Okay. 
So you just turn your Lazy Susan or your book or whatever you use until you get the best signal, as I did now. Let's try 873, that's Emisor Provincial de Sofala from Beira in Mozambique. Yeah, that's not bad. That is a distance of 1,420 kilometers, 883 miles. I think that you can see the Texan AN200 really makes a difference. And hopefully now you have some ideas about how to use it in the best possible way. It'll work on pretty much any radio with an internal ferrite coil antenna. For example, Texan EL368. You can actually plug in the antenna here on the Texan. There is a spot here on the Texan AN200 for an antenna connection, so that is quite useful. It'll work on small pocket radios like this one, the little Texan R808. It'll work on the very popular Texan R9012. All of these I've used with my loop and I've seen significant improvement in reception. It'll work on this one, the XH Data D219. I've used it, it works. It'll work on this one, the Texan R909. I've used it, it works. And it'll work on this very popular XH Data D109. It also works on the XH Data D808, although the difference there is not so significant. I think because the XH Data D808 already has quite a good internal ferrite coil antenna. It also works on my Texan ICR110, does show quite a significant improvement. So I wish you luck and good medium wave DXing.